Investigators searched the storage facility Saturday about 10 miles from where the murders happened. They pulled a white Crown Victoria from one unit. A law enforcement source says they also found multiple guns. Ballistic tests are being done on the weapons to see if they are connected to the murders. Just a day before, the search focused on the Kaufman, Texas home of a man who knew the victims, Eric Williams. Williams is a former Kaufman County Justice of the Peace. He was fired last year after being convicted of stealing computer equipment from the county. There's uh, three monitors missing. One's on your desk mm -hmm. right now. Where are the others at? Assistant District Attorney Mark Hassey and District Attorney Mike McClellan prosecuted the case against Williams. Hassey was killed in January outside the county courthouse. McClellan and his wife were found shot to death in their home last month. Williams denied any involvement in an interview two weeks ago. My heart goes out to all the families that have been affected by this tragedy, and especially to the, the people that work at the courthouse. His attorney said Williams has cooperated with law enforcement and he hopes that the perpetrators are brought to justice. The Dallas Morning News says it was a threatening email traced to Williams, which led to his arrest yesterday for making terroristic threats. He is not charged with the killings. The murders have transformed this community of 7,000. Every day since the McClellans were murdered, some residents have gathered at the county courthouse to pray. Gina Cobb knew the victims. These are good people that their lives were taken because of doing their jobs and protecting our community. They pray for answers and for peace to return. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Kaufman, Texas. Bob Orr in Washington has been working his sources. Bob, what are you hearing? Well, Jim, the investigation now no doubt focuses squarely on former Justice of the Peace Eric Williams. Police publicly will not call him, quote unquote, a suspect in the prosecutor's murders. Of course, as Manuel told us, he's denied any involvement and he's not been charged in the killing. However, we're told investigators turned up new evidence in searches over the weekend that could prove critical in the end in this case. Have to say, almost from the very beginning, Williams has been very high, if not at the top of that potential suspect list. See, he was a guy prosecuted by Mark Hassey and District Attorney Mike McClellan. In fact, sources say McClellan himself was suspicious of Williams right after Hassey's murder back in January. In the end, revenge could be a motive here, Jim. So he's being held on charges not directly related to the murders. Is this part of some larger strategy by law enforcement? I think you could say so, yes. He's being held uh, for making, quote, terroristic threats. Now, authorities won't tell us what that exactly means. But here's the thing. He's being held under an extremely high $3 million in bonds. So in effect, all of that serves as a holding charge. That allows police to go slow, work the murder case at a more deliberate pace. Investigators in the end really don't have to worry about Williams' whereabouts or more importantly about what he might be up to. Bob Warren, Washington, thank you.